Hello and welcome to the Reboot Speedrunning Tutorial. This video is on level 17. There are a few things I want to say about this level before uh, showing the full route. First of all, you'll notice that if you start moving towards the tear immediately, you'll trigger a mic the TV dialogue that will interrupt the first tear spawning. So when you start this level, just wait for one or two seconds before moving to let that tear spawn. The second thing I want to say is this is one of the very few levels where I would actually recommend trying to use the early tear glitch uh, from when you start running the game. It makes this level quite a bit easier. The intended way to do this level is actually very, very difficult. When I first started running the game, this felt like the most difficult level in the game. Uh, but the route that I'm about to show makes things quite a bit easier than they would be otherwise. And then the third thing I want to talk about is the two keys in this level. There's one key next to where you spawn and one key next to the first tear. For my route normally, I would grab the key next to where I spawn second. But the jump over to this key is fairly difficult. And so if you're not comfortable with it, I would actually recommend trying to get this key first. So that if you miss it, if you're low on lives, you can just pause and restart the level without losing too much time. So with all that said, let's, let's show the route. Again, like I said, don't move immediately so that you don't spawn that Mike the TV dialogue. Just wait for one or two seconds and then start going over there. Avoid the invincibility as you move towards this tear. Then we're going to jump towards this key and jump right back. Try to make sure your jump goes a little bit over the fan platform. Again, avoid the invincibility. We're going to want that later. Then make this jump over to the key next to spawn and die to respawn next to where the first tear was. At this point, we're going to grab the invincibility. The invincibility lasts about 30 seconds, and we want to use it through mending the second tear, as well as getting to the third tear. And if you did the early tear glitch correctly, uh, ideally, uh, you'll get here before, or the third tear will spawn before you get here. Um, I will point out there is an extra life right there. Uh, it doesn't lose much time to land on that life and then jump onto the fan platform if you want that extra life. Also, uh, if you can, try to avoid grabbing this health as you move towards this third tear. So that after you mend the tear, you can then grab the health and be at full health for the fairly difficult jump to the exit. There are a couple of ways to do this. You can either jump straight across the lava and do a bounce to get into this last area. The lava does damage you quite a bit, but you can get here without, uh, without dying. It's just hard. And you really only have one bounce to do it. The alternative is also not exactly easy, but you can jump to those platforms without, uh, without landing on the lava, and then you can jump from there to the exit. It's, it's really up to you which one you want to do. They have their own difficulties. Uh, just try them out, see what feels good. Another thing that I was doing through this level, though I wasn't really talking about it, is I was regularly launching volleys of rockets at the turrets I saw. Uh, if you destroy the turrets, the level lags just a little bit less, so you can keep things moving faster. So it is worth just unleashing some rockets when you can. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below or ask in the Discord.